What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition HPI. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub, sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective of reading for all signs. Got two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that's fine. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. If you'd like to donate, type your sister up by the links in the description box below. No pay, um, PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you see someone in the uh, comment section with my YouTube handle and my YouTube photo talking about a WhatsApp number, it's a scam. Just let everybody know it's not me, okay? Feel free to report it to YouTube. Uh, I've reported all the ones that I've seen so far, okay? All right, so this is a free general collective reading, 1229-2022, p.m. I hope everybody's doing well. This will probably be the only one I'm going to do tonight. Just let y'all know. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, someone is super triggered by your readings and someone is super, uh, super loves your readings. So, I heard your reading. So, whoever you are, you're a tarot reader um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, whoever you are, um, a light worker, spiritualist, psychic, um, what have you, what have you, okay? Um, whatever you call yourself, psychic investigator, what have you, what have you. But someone, there's at least two people that watch your readings, at least two. For some of you guys, I feel it's a hell of a lot more. They fit into two categories. But someone is super triggered by your readings, so in a negative sense, and someone loves your readings in a positive sense. So only you know who you are, not anybody else, but at least there's two categories here. Someone loves them, someone hates them, basically. Well, if they're getting triggered by your readings, there's a reason. Um, just saying, just saying. Damn. Spare messages here. I'll put this. Refuge reversed. I heard take it reversed. Number 16 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 16. It can be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number. Number 16. Hard take it upright. New beginnings. Number 10 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 10. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 10. Also, 10s are completions of cycles too. So, um, I feel for some, you could be new tarot readers possibly. Uh, possibly for some. I don't feel this is for everybody, but I feel for some, you might be new tarot readers. Poss possibly. Uh, putting yourself out there. Um, your gifts. Skills, talents, abilities, etc., etc., etc. For some, I feel you're old school tarot readers, um, been in the game a hot ass minute, and you're creating new beginnings or tower moments for other people with the triggering of your content or loving of your content. Refuge reverse. The ones that are triggered have no spiritual protection, and soon they're about to have no protection in the court of law. Some of these people are about to occur huge negative legal repercussions. And they know they will have no chance in hell in the court of law. And they are right. Oh, my Lord. So for the category where they're triggered, um, they're triggered for a reason. It's because something to do with some kind of legal issue or issues upcoming in the universe. Um, for some, they're already in them. Okay, for some, they're already in legal issues. For some, they're about to have them. 
But they heard they have no spiritual protection, no spiritual backing, and soon they're about to have no legal backing. Uh, it sounds like in the court of law, no spiritual, uh, no legal protection. Because I mean, not necessarily no legal protection, but meaning they're about to incur heavy legal consequences in the court of law because they've done something in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, some are already in legal issues. Some are about to have them. I'm feeling it's because they know they have committed crime or crimes and they're about to be exposed or they already have been exposed is what I feel. Um, and I'm feeling huge crimes. Not that any crime should be over another, but I'm just saying. Um, huge crimes here. Okay, it's confirmation. Huge, huge crimes here. Yeah. Um, I feel... I mean, of course, everybody has a right to a lawyer, whether it's a public defender or a private lawyer, but... I feel there's some kind of evidence against against them is what I'm trying to say. I didn't hear this. It's just intuitively I feel there's some kind of evidence against, against them or some kind of, yeah, some kind of evidence against them or subpoenaed witness or witnesses about to be against them already are against them because they, or if they're not subpoenaed witnesses, witnesses free willingly coming forward. Um, however, that resonates and applies. But they have no spiritual protection, no spiritual backing in the spiritual realm. And there's some kind of substantial evidence against them in the universe. Whether it's subpoenaed, free willing witnesses, witness protection people, or other circumstantial evidence. How that resonates and applause. For some, I feel it could be like DNA tests or um, rape kit or... Um, fraud or forgery or extortion or bank fraud or video camera evidence or um subpoenaed witness or witnesses or what have you what have you however there is an ace and applause but no protection refuge reverse new beginnings upright Your ability to manifest, they once loved it because they mooched off you, but they're huge criminals. Now they hate it because they have been exposed and they will continue to be exposed. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So whoever you are, reader, you're a high manifester, but a positive mega manifester. Um you're a mega manifester, but you're a positive mega manifester, meaning you don't manifest in negative things. You manifest in good things, but they used to love it, whoever these triggered people are, because they mooched off you. Um, they stole item or items or gift or gifts or some. They stole something from you, time, energy, or money, or property or properties or assets or what have you, what have you. But now they hate it because they've already, some have already been exposed for this and some are about to be. Hence the legal issues I'm feeling that have already occurred for some or about to occur for some. So they get triggered by your new beginnings and your ability to manifest at a very high capacity because they know what they've done to you, basically. Um, and others know what they have done to you. It is about to backfire on them in a huge way. Okay, I heard it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Think in the form of the legal um, issues. And I'm just being real. So you have already had some kind of new beginning in your life, reader, in some shape, form, or fashion, or you're about to. You're definitely a mega manifester in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but a positive mega manifester because you can manifest in good or bad things. How that resonates in a pause. Someone has already seen through the lies. Someone is about to see through all the lies. These people are about to ever regret they did this to you in the past. Ever regret it. Okay, so Mega Manifester, reader, if this resonates for you, 
someone already sees through the lies of these people of your um that mooch off you time energy money property assets what have you what have you in the past um someone's about to but it's about to benefit you sir ma'am reader because um it's already exposed these people are about to and basically it's about to benefit you that somebody really sees the truth or they already have seen the truth um i feel for some it could benefit uh, them going for these legal issues and i'm just being for real um it's like smoke and mirrors are being lifted is or are about to be lifted how that resonates and applies but you're definitely a mega manifester, sir, ma'am, reader, whoever you are. And for one reader... A hidden camera that was meant to destroy you and your home in the past is about to go very public to many people very soon and very quickly. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, and for one of you readers, there's at least two of you in the universe. One of you readers, there was some kind of hidden camera that was strategically placed in your home where there was no reason and no rhyme to do it. Okay, I heard it was strategically placed in your home. It sounds like in the past, there was no reason and no rhyme to do it. But for one, you had a hidden camera placed in your home in the past. There was no reason, no rhyme to do it. Whether you rent, pay mortgage, you have it paid off or what have you, what have you. Um, but the hidden camera placed in your home in the past, ma'am or sir reader, um, is about to go very public and very fast to many people. And it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So the information that you had a hidden camera in your home, placed in your home in the past, it sounds like against your free, free will and against your consent and authorization is about to benefit you in a huge way that it's about to basically go very soon and very public to many people, which I think is going to create new beginnings for you or them or the situation or what have you, what have you. This is about to benefit you in a huge way. It was very wrong. Okay, I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. It was very wrong. So the information about to come out to many, very soon, very quickly to many people that there was a hidden camera placed in your home that um, strategically unauthorized without your consent authorization, I'm feeling, is about to benefit you in a huge way because I heard it was very wrong. Meaning you did not consent or authorize it and it was done strategically for premeditated evil intent, basically. It was definite evil intent. It was definite evil intent. And there's a difference between having dark. Everybody has dark and light energy inside them. I just want to say this. Everybody has dark and light energy inside them. But everybody does. But it's how you grow and manifest and hone yourself. Do you control your dark side? Do you work on your shadow side, your shadow self? Do you strive to make yourself a better person? Everybody has dark and shadow sides. It's how you do your shadow work and your healing. Evil intent is a different situation. That's letting your dark side control you and do evil, dark, demonic things like placing hidden voyeur cameras in people's houses strategically for premeditated evil purposes. Um, and I'm just being for real. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. It's true. All right. I love you guys so much. Let me see if I get anything else. <clears throat> There's about to be many tower moments for many people soon. Some positive, some negative. It all depends what side of the karmic wheel you're on here. There's about to be many tower moments for many people soon. Some positive, some negative. It all depends on what side of the karmic wheel you're on. 
So you plug it in how it resonates. I was going to see show you all the tower card. There's about to be many tower moments um, coming soon. Now, a tower moment can be a positive tower moment or a negative tower moment. Um, I'm presuming that's why the spiritual download was. It all depends on what side of the karmic wheel you're on. Because you can have a positive tower moment or a negative tower moment. Um, positive tower moment is beneficial to your life in some shape, form, or fashion. A negative one is not. So, hold on one second, you guys. Tower moment. But this can, but in this aspect, it's good. Some of these are good tower moments for some of you guys. Some they're bad tower moments for either some of you guys or somebody you're connected to. Um, it all depends on what side of the karmic wheel you're on. So positive karma or negative karma, but tower moments coming. Sounds like karmic justice. All right, which is creating new beginnings or about to in a good or a bad way. All right, I love you guys. I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good day and I'm going to stay.